Hey, I'm CNET's Rye Christ, and I'm standing here beside the Time Machine. Now, this is not a DeLorean. This is not a device that's going to send you back to the future, but it is a machine that promises to save you time in the kitchen. It's a rice maker. It's a slow cooker. It's all sorts of things in one. Mostly rice, though. It's got distinct settings for white rice, brown rice. It also promises to cook that rice faster than other conventional rice makers. Now, the Time Machine promises to save you all this time by doing a lot of the thinking for you. It's going to figure out how much you've got inside of it and how long it needs to cook for. We tested it out. I uh, cooked some lunch for my colleagues, made chicken and rice and asparagus, a very nice, hearty lunch, put all the ingredients in, steamed the chicken and the asparagus on top in the included steam tray, and it came out fine. It thought about it for a while, it told me when 10 minutes was left, and the rice came out cooked very well, the chicken was moist and tasty, the asparagus was just right. Everybody liked what I cooked, which is not something that always happens when I cook, so I was pretty happy about that. Now, the Time Machine is currently seeking its capital on Kickstarter. It's already passed its goal, it's done very well, and it's got about two weeks left. It's expected to ship out to backers by Christmas of this year, which is coming up, so that's a pretty aggressive timeline. This is a company that's put out appliances before, and they were already able to send us a working prototype type, so we feel pretty good about that date. It'll retail for about $70 once it's out on the market. If you catch the Kickstarter before it ends, you might be able to get it for about 10 bucks off. The Time Machine won't, however, ship outside of the U.S. right away at least. The company tells me that they are looking into options for the voltage requirements of different countries where there is also interest in this cooker. So stay tuned for updates on that front. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my full first take at CNET.com along with the rest of my appliance and smart home reviews. For CNET Appliances, I'm Ry Christ.